hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a vlog um so i just got out of the shower what time is it it is going on 8 30 i'm getting ready to make some dinner so i thought i'd you know take you guys along this cooking stuff with me um i'm making chicken wonton or wontons i'm making chicken lettuce wraps but now that i said wontons you know what i might put that on my list to make next um you guys i have i don't know if i've been mentioning on my channel that um, i'm just getting very bored with my meals um i used to be able to like meal prep for a few days eat that for like two to three days and i'll be good to go or even after not doing that anymore i used to be able to just cook meals and eat it and i'm good to go but you guys i'm getting so tired of the same cooked type of chicken the same cooked spaghetti you know we all be making spaghetti because it's quick and easy um the same just type of salmon or whatnot so i'm really just trying to explore my options and cook stuff different me making these let me see if I can show you. And I literally just typed in uh, uh, chicken and lettuce wraps. And I picked something that looked amazing. So hopefully you guys can see this. Um, let me see. Hold on. I don't know if there's a way to... Um, there we go. So it's this um, Thai chicken lettuce wrap. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you what ingredients we're using. I did go to the store earlier today and I went and picked up the ingredients. I took a nap, y'all. Um, and so now I'm up ready to make some dinner. So I'll be using some olive oil, chicken, garlic, um, yellow onion. I forgot to buy yellow onion. Hopefully the one I have already is still okay to use. Um, some salt, black pepper, carrots, cabbage, green onion, chili sauce, peanut butter, um, ginger, soy sauce, cilantro, red pepper flakes, and obviously the lettuce. So, yeah, so that's what we're getting ready to be making. Um, I know, I know, I know that you're drunk. Yeah. Tell me what you want out of this club. You know you're nasty, you know you're nasty. No. Uber out of my house, you caught a taxi. making my chicken wontons i literally had so much fun making these i don't know why it happened maybe because i just love cooking 
and there's something new I'm trying out so I'm excited so did I say chicken wontons y'all once again that is not what this is this is a lettuce wrap a chicken lettuce wrap so I'm gonna just go ahead oh my god wait a minute y'all I didn't even take a picture of my lovely dinner what am I doing because if I decide to put it as a thumbnail, it will be one hell of a thumbnail, okay? Y'all gonna look at this photo and be like, what is she cooking? Because it looks so good. Let me get my life together. Oh, yes, y'all. Such a good photo. I took two. I don't know if it's gonna dim the light but it looks really good all right okay so let's get to trying these out um now they did smell really good i tasted the sauce before i added it to the chicken um i will say hold on Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm definitely keeping this in my recipe book for another time because this is so good. Mmm. I actually was getting ready to say. Because I didn't know how it was going to taste because because I had to use peanut butter, I the sauce did seem a little thick to me. So I'm trying to figure out a way to make it less thick. And I didn't know what to do because I'm like, well, I don't want to add a whole bunch of uh, soy sauce because that would just make it extra salty. So then I'm like, should I add water? I added a little bit of water. But I didn't want to go overboard because I didn't know if that was going to mess up the consistency or even just the flavorness of the, the sauce. So I just left it alone. So the only thing I would say is I, I think I do prefer it just a little bit more saucy and not like a thick paste. But other than that, y'all, this tastes amazing. It is so freaking good. Okay, so I am going to get me a drink. Not like a drink drink, but just some like something to drink. Probably some water. I think I'm really dehydrated. I haven't drank water all day really. So I'm gonna just get some water. I'm gonna take a seat and we're gonna have a little chitty chat. Okay, so I'll see you guys in like two seconds. Was rest, okay, and New Year's all I did was stretch, okay, and Valentine's Day I had sex, okay, we'll see what's about to happen next, okay, 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 we'll see what's about to happen next, okay, 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 we'll see what's about to happen. Is that you, Mac? Hey, we'll see what's about to happen. Hey, we'll see what's about to happen. Hey, okay, we'll see what's about to happen. Making a change today, the liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you and only you. Yeah, I got one word, you got one, and that is the only two. Man, how many times have I shown it, bro? Man, how many nights I've been woke? Swerving the potholes, not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road, okay? Funny how life goes. He thought he was sick, now we wiping his nose, okay? Soon as you give him your soul, you blow up and they say you're selling your soul, okay? They want my life exposed, they want. I did the digital dash, I 
for the bitch with the pouch. I get a junkie a blast. I said it don't be mama. Out on the street like the mama. You rats and never on the roof. They know I'm a kid of my word. I hustle the first to the first. These bitches be nagging the kid. They get them a hustle from the nerves. I showed them a rex and they drink. I spoke in that pack and I'm mad. Taliban on these hoes. Give a sad to these rules. Got a plan with the nose. I see from the bitch off the heaven. I came to the city with revenue. I put in work in the revenue. I slide on your ass in the cell deuce. Come back in the bitch in the six trade. Chevy Mercedes, I keep coming. Took out the bitch, I keep coming. I put on right now in parallel. Good morning, you guys. So clearly, I just came back from the gym. Y'all saw me working out. Um, I am extremely tired. Like, I don't know if y'all just seen, but a girl, your girl just put some work in, okay? And maybe I feel, and I don't even feel like I really did anything like that. But I think what it is, is... I haven't been too consistent um, so clearly when I start working out anything is gonna hurt <laughs> so but um, I feel amazing I'm so happy I got up like I said I was going to to um, work out right now I'm clearly in the bathroom because I'm gonna shower because I just don't like um, I don't like the sweat to sit on my face so um yeah i'm about to shower i'm getting ready to go ahead and just wash my face um yeah i'm gonna wash my face it's about i think either 5 30 or a little bit after 5 30 um and yeah Okay guys, so I just came from taking a Roman outside to potting. I'm gonna ready to make me a protein shake. Y'all, it is literally 27 degrees outside. Like why? Cause I went outside and I'm like, why is the um, everybody's windows frosted over? That's because it's cold. Anyways, um, I did just put some regular clothes on because I don't like to um, put my uniform on and sit in my uniform when that, my uniform ain't that comfortable to be doing all that. So let me wash my hands. Okay, so I'm gonna just be making me a protein shake. I'm gonna show you guys what I use and then I'm gonna make the shake. So I just purchased this um, protein powder. It's the vanilla kind. I always get vanilla no matter what type of brand I'm using because you can mix vanilla with anything. So I like to use unsweetened unsweetened almond milk because I do feel like the vanilla flavor um, I'm just really weird about super super sweet stuff and then especially depending on what it is I don't like super sweet stuff so um, I just feel like the actual vanilla flavored um, almond milk makes it like too sweet for me um, I'm gonna put a whole banana in there and I'm gonna just put a little bit of water in there because I do not like my protein shakes um, super thick so um for this protein shake as you guys can see it says the bulk kind i am working on my muscle mass again to build um um and this is what the scoop cup looks like i've never actually this is my first time trying this brand out i've already tried it out and I actually really like it because the vanilla flavor isn't overpowering. So I love that it doesn't taste super sweet. Um, but anyway, this is what the scoop looks like. And in order to get the full servings 
of everything it says with the 50 grams of protein, 30, 40, 1340 calories, and 277 carbs, you need to pretty much have at least four of these scoops a day. Okay, as you can see, it literally filled up this whole thing. So that's why I say I drink one in the morning and then I drink one at night. Um, one second. Let me turn this way because I just feel like the light is over here and when I'm over there, I'm looking a little dark. You can't see me, the lighting is terrible um but anyway so what you can do as well to add some other good fats would be um some oil i didn't add olive oil this morning but i did want you guys to know that you can do that as well Welcome back to another vlog. Um, Y'all, my face is breaking out because my cycle is getting ready to come on. So just never mind that. I hope y'all can hear me. Maybe I should wait until my air fryer is done cooking. Um, so hold on. Okay, y'all. So um, it is it's 620 and it's Monday, March 28th. Um, I'm getting ready to open up a few packages that I have. I actually have had these maybe for about a week. Um, I just haven't opened them, so I decided I'll just open them on camera. Okay, so this is just a, what is it called? Weaving net. Um, I was going to try to do my own sewing, um, but we'll see about that. Um, and then I think this is just my adapter for my um, external hard drives when I plug them in. So it's just, um, this is an adapter. I got it from Sateki. Sateki. So it is a USB-C hub, four port hub. The reason why I got a USB-C is because USB-C is actually a, fast, a faster processor then uh, or transporter whatever you want to call it then a regular USB-C so um, I like that because I have the I use the Samsung um, SSD cards for my you know stuff so I have one for my backup which is this one and then I have one for one is going to be a drag and drop disc and then the other one's going to be for my editing so this one was for editing and it has 500 gigabytes on it but you guys i have so much stuff and mo like videos and stuff that it's like not there's no room so i always find myself having to delete older videos because there's no room on that disc so i the gray one is actually a one terabyte so I bought this because I'm also going to need to move my photo library onto my external hard drive because I don't have any room on my laptop for it to process me trying to transfer data. So I told y'all that I've been having a lot of techie issues. That's one of the issues I've been having is no space. So y'all, I'm just trying to get my life together and be a true YouTuber. <laughs> but as everyone says, the tech part of this job literally can get in the way of things. Like there's always, well, you can find yourself in a lot of mishaps when it comes to technology. But that's in any, that's in anything. Like even on my regular job, like 
technology don't always want to work so you just got to work around it so i feel really bad because i was being really consistent and then i feel like out of nowhere i just kind of stopped part of it was because i had to adjust my scheduling and then another part of it was because um my tech stuff wasn't trying to tech for me so um but yeah so i really like this i might actually end up getting another one and i like how sleek it is i love sleek looking things but other than that i just also like like i said it's a usb-c so you just plug it in your laptop right here and then there's literally two ports on each side and like i said it's from a brand called sateki and I literally just searched USB-C adapter and I found this on regular search. I didn't find any of these types of things on Amazon. They have a USB-C, but it has like only one or two ports and then a US or USB-C and then it has a USB-A. I need a whole bunch of USB-Cs. So I'm glad I found this. Um, and I also have an adapter because I do have my uh send this hard drive that i need to put so i can transfer the stuff off my camera on here i do have like an apple adapter to plug into here or whatever um i do know that they have adapters where you can plug your sand disc and you can plug like all this other stuff in at the same time hey y'all so i am so I think I was telling y'all earlier that I have bought some extra tech stuff so that I can start editing again. And everything's going good except, so I moved my photo library to an external hard drive so I can free up some space on my laptop, which everything was good with that. But the video that I'm trying to upload is this um let me see if i could show y'all hold on and i really want to be able to upload this y'all because i slayed the crap out of my face let me show y'all though um hold on see if y'all can see this So, I was pretty much, if y'all have seen the video, um, I pretty much did like a red, I did a red makeup or a red lip and my makeup literally turned out so freaking flawless y'all. My makeup turned out so flawless and I want to be able to upload this video because it was literally so good. Um, and I'm just kind of sad because the video though was like, the video was, um, I think almost two hours and I think that's why it's having a hard time uploading right now. But what I'm going to do is just allow it to still try to upload and download onto the external hard drive so that I can edit it into iMovie. But that's a process so i decided to just work on a different video and i just put my sd card in from my camera because i have a whole bunch of other clips so i'm just hoping that it's okay with you guys that stuff's going to be out of order until i can get my rhythm back with my editing because i feel like i'm just so behind on vlogging on posting and actually, around the new year, there was a lot of stuff that I was supposed to be posting and that I recorded. I just ended up deleting it because I don't know why, but I, I think I'm one of those people, like, if it's too far past the date when I put, when I edited it or when I filmed it, then I won't post it. And I don't know why I do that, but I don't know. But anyways, I just wanted to update you guys on that. Hey, y'all. So... I just got back from taking Roman outside. Um, I'm going to be heating up some pizza. I have leftover pizza from yesterday. I just got something because uh, I didn't feel like cooking. I knew I had to work yesterday. 
Um, yeah, so I just got done taking him outside. Y'all, I wanted to take him on like a long walk or something like that. But y'all, it is literally so cold outside still here in North Dakota. And I'm just not the type of person to play around with the cold, okay? That is just not for me, okay? It never has been and never will be. I don't like the cold. So, I tried to withstand it for a little bit, I think. We might have been outside for a good 10 minutes, but hey, that's all you're getting out of me today, Roman. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to heat up some pizzas, leftovers from yesterday, girl. Tell me why yesterday I had came home from work. I worked my second job yesterday. Um, and I brought me home some pizza to eat, right? So, of course, the oven had a preheat or whatever. And they had to cook for like 21 minutes. So I'm like, cool, perfect. I'm going to put the pizza in the oven while I take a shower. So that when I get out of the shower, it could be ready to go. So I get out of the shower and um, the pizza still had like six or seven minutes left to cook. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I just, you know, relax on my bed for a little bit. So then the pizza is done. Boom. I take it out. But... From my experience, when you cut pizza fresh out of the oven when it's hot, the like cheese and whatever else, sauce and all that, it gets all over the place. So I like to let it cool down for a little bit. Then I'll cut it so that my cheese and stuff is not oozing everywhere. Girl, tell me why. I done got back in the bed and I was like, okay, I'm going to give it about 10, 15 minutes to uh, cool off. And during that time, I was like, all right, I'll just lay here, turn on some like, you know, soft music or whatever. Next thing I know, my 5 a.m. alarm clock is going off for me to get ready for work. I'm like, I wake up, the lights are still on. I'm like, what just happened? How am I asleep? And then it's 5 a.m. now, and it's time to get ready for work. And my first thought when I woke up was, damn i didn't get to eat my dinner like and i don't know why i've always been one of those people like if i don't eat dinner or if i don't do something that's in my normal routine i feel like my routine for the previous day hasn't been completed so i have to do it in order for my day to be completed so that i can wake up the next day and do it so i went into the kitchen cut me two slices of pizza ate my pizza i heated it up ate my pizza and then I got back in bed for like another hour and a half. And I shouldn't have done that, but I was so tired, you guys. I've been so tired this week. So um, I ate my pizza and I got back in the bed. Um, and I don't remember if I turned the lights off or on, but um, I couldn't believe I woke up. All my lights were still on and the pizza that I was supposed to have eaten the night prior was still on the, on the counter. And I was like, dang, I didn't eat my pizza. But anyways, y'all, yeah. So I just took Roman out. I'm heating up some leftover pizza i don't know if i'm gonna cook tonight y'all um i'm i'm tired i started my menstrual today so my back is aching and my bra is too tight no i'm just kidding <laughs> no but my back is aching like it literally feels like it's going to fall off um and i'm glad though that my cramps are not too too bad i was cramping a lot during my lunch hour so i was glad i was able to take a nap during lunch and when i woke up it did feel a little better but you guys, as I've gotten older, my cycles have just been literally killing me. Like my cramping is god awful. And you know, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know why, but anyways, um, I'm gonna be editing today. I don't know what's the last thing I told you guys about my whole tech situation but everything was able to go i uploaded my video or i didn't upload it but my makeup video with the red lip makeup tutorial was able to export i think it was just such a big file that it took forever for it to export um so it did export and i've already started kind of editing it so i'm going to try to finish the edit the editing today so that it can be up by tomorrow um so i will be working on that i don't know if i'm making dinner tonight but yeah that's just me. Today's Wednesday, uh, March 30th. So, um, Friday. Oh, so to actually tomorrow, Roman has an appointment at the vet. Because the last time I had took him to get a grooming, she told me she thought she 
because I mentioned to her his earwax and she told me looking at it she actually thinks he has an ear infection so I feel bad because I could tell lately that his ear had been bothering him because he'd been like messing with it a lot but I didn't think oh he has an ear infection you know what I mean because honestly since he was a little since he was a baby he would always like scratch his ears on both sides um so I just figured like okay that's just Roman being Roman but she was saying the way the wax had looked it wasn't wax anymore it was kind of like a hard um crusted wax she was like she thinks he has a a ear infection so I don't like when my baby got something going on so I'm taking him to the vet tomorrow he has an appointment at three um so that's going on and then Friday we don't work girl the air force will literally give you days off for no reason but guess what I am not complaining so Friday I do not work and um I have a facial um one of my good friends sent me a a hundred dollar gift card um to get a facial so i'm gonna use that for friday they had an appointment at 11. so i'm gonna get my facial done friday and this will actually be my first facial i've never had an actual like a professional facial before so i'm actually excited to see what that's about because i love like skin related things and um i'm going to be getting a facial for the first time and I think I'm going to be doing derma planning as well so um I'm gonna see if I can record that I just don't know how to record getting a facial when it's supposed to be kind of like a relaxing environment and if my eyes are going to be closed the whole time how I'm gonna know if the camera is like you know in the right view um and I don't want to like you know if she's doing stuff I don't want to be like you know just in the way with my camera and stuff so I might just go and enjoy my facial experience i'll just go and enjoy my experience um getting a facial on friday and i will for sure let you guys know how that goes and then saturday y'all i will literally work all day i guess the kiddos are having prom this week in and so one of the people forgot to call off or put it put it on the schedule y'all so i they called me to see if i could pick up a ship so i'm like cool yeah i'm gonna go get that bag period so i was just like okay cool i'll work so i work all day saturday and then um yeah that's pretty much summing up my week for you guys letting y'all know what i got going on and what i'm doing um waiting for my oven to preheat but yeah that's pretty much it so i'm just gonna be editing today and yeah. hey y'all so it is um i'm gonna assume the next day from the last time i talked to y'all um i just came home from taking i told you guys roman had a appointment at the the vet today because um he had an appointment with the vet today because um his ears are his ears they i'm sorry <laughs> his ears um i thought he had an ear infection so the problem is he went and uh he went and the doctor actually couldn't really get to his eardrum to see because his ears were hurting so bad that he would just cry he was able to get a few samples um and from what he told me was um roman's ears did have some bacteria in it and it had two different types of bacteria and a little bit of a yeast infection so he did give me some medicine for him he gave me some pills because he said that probably trying to put the eardrops in his ear is going to hurt just because of how sore it is. So what the pills are supposed to be doing is pretty much um, lessening the burden on him for that pain when it's time to put the eardrops in. So we just got back and I'm going to eat some Um 
and I didn't post my video yet, but it is going to go live today. I had to let it upload. Um, so I did go ahead and upload last night. Y'all, I was up until 1 in the morning, like literally 1.30 in the morning I was up. Um, but I don't know. I know when I start editing, because I do like editing for the most part, I get really excited and I get really into it. And then I've just been learning a lot of new things about, you know, putting content together. So it just makes me excited. So I, I was just like up. But today is Thursday. And I told you guys I don't work tomorrow. So I have the facial. Um, but it's not until 11. So I'm going to sleep in a little bit. But I'm getting ready to go and make the video live. Um right now but yeah i just wanted to update you guys on roman and his situation we do have to go back in like two weeks to get a checkup because he wants to see if the ear drops worked so so I just finished my facial I feel so good I don't know if you can tell but my skin is glowing even more so I just did the derma planning today why do I feel like oh. back it up I just did the derma planning today um, and then we just did kind of like a regular facial and then we did derma planning so she just extracted, I'm sure you guys can see I have a little bit of blemishes. Um, my cycle is on right now, so yes, typically when my cycle gets on, my face breaks out a little bit more. So she just extracted the um, blemishes, um, and then she said to just allow the products to soak in. And um, if I do need any more hydration to my face later, I can add just more moisturizer. But um, as far as like, because um, I was telling her about these um, products that I like to use on my face. But she was just saying, you know, just give it a few days before using any, um, you know, active ingredient. So, um, especially because I did the derma planning. So, um, yeah, so I went to Lore Spa. It's in Minot, North Dakota. So, if you are here, I recommend definitely go and check this place out. Because, um, just like the whole um, experience from um, going in there and coming. Just like going in there, they're, it's very, like, clean. They're very nice. Very, like, relaxing music playing in the background. Um, and they just like they give you robes and slippers and um, they have a sauna in there so if you want to use the sauna after um, if you would like to use the sauna after your facial like it's free like you don't have to pay for it I'm trying to take my tripod off of my camera because I want to see you guys right here um, yeah so if you would like to do that you can do that as well but i didn't do that because i'm like okay well i have some places to go and be today well not really i just didn't feel like staying extra long um but anyways um yeah so i am on my way i'm really hungry i don't know what to eat but i'm really hungry I think my eyebrows trimmed yeah so I'm really hungry and so I don't know what to eat and nothing like sounds good to me hey y'all so it is currently 11 25 I just got home kind of it no not really I got home like an hour ago um, but within that hour I was able to come home um, I came home from work. I forgot that I haven't talked to y'all today. So yeah, you guys today is Saturday 
April 2nd. Um, I went to work earlier today. So I came home, took Roman out. And as y'all can see, I just got out of the shower, did some skincare. Um, yes, I put some oil on my face. Um, so that's why we over here greased up. I'm getting ready to make me a little bit of dinner. Um, I'm just, I bought this, um, what's this? General Tso's chicken. Um, and I bought me some vegetable fried rice. And I also got me some chicken and vegetable pot stickers. So, for the chicken, there's actually a different brand that I actually really like that tastes really good. And it's from Cashwise. So, I need to go there to figure out what that brand is because that one is actually really good. This one's not bad, but it's not my favorite. But this is the only one Target had. Um, well, like that. So, anyways, this takes about 20 about 20 minutes and then you cook it for an additional three minutes with the sauce on there and then this just takes five minutes and then y'all know you gotta put these on the stove so um, I like buying pan fried these um, chicken pot stickers so that's what I'm gonna do um, and I know usually when you make these you only supposed to do one side but I don't like that doughy stuff so I like to fry all sides so that's what I'm getting ready to do and yeah girl hey y'all so I just not just, let me stop saying just because normally y'all when I come on this camera, I had done did a whole bunch of stuff. But anyways, I got off work, I took Rum outside, and I'm here now. So I wanted to tell you guys, show you guys um, a few items I just picked up from Target. Um, because, yeah. I do have a slight headache, not going to lie. So I did turn one of the other lights on. I wish I could turn them down, but I realized that y'all probably wouldn't been wouldn't have been able to see me. I bought some like leggings, some like workout gear because Target has this brand called All In Motion, um, and it's an active wear gear, active wear clothing line or something, and it's very comfortable. I actually already have a few pair of their leggings. I think two pair of their leggings. Very, very comfortable and some sports bras. So they were having a 20% off sale. Um, so I decided to get a pair. So y'all, these leggings, I got these pair in a size small. These are like a lilac purple. They have a very like thin type of um, cut off at the bottom of the leg. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it kind of like hugs your legs just perfectly, which is perfect because then if it is cold outside or whatnot, the air won't be coming up through these leggings. But I just thought these were so cute and y'all know we're kind of getting into the spring and summer uh, months. So of course, pa the pastels are always a go for that. So I got these leggings. These are just regular leggings. I got me a red pair as well. Oh, I forgot to say that those are in a size small. I prefer a size extra small because I do feel like I haven't gained all my weight back. So smalls normally fit me, but extra small is fitting me right now perfectly. So I prefer an extra small so that they're not, you know how like leggings slide down your legs and your butt um, when you're when you're working out and it's just not a comfortable feeling. So I don't know how those are going to be when I'm working out, but I did, I think, get everything else in an extra small. So these are the same type of leggings, but they're... Um, in the color red. I don't know what color they're coming off on the camera, but they're red. Um, and both of these were $32. So, um, yeah, but super comfortable. Like I said, they're the same leggings, so they fit the same. It's just one's in a size small, one's in a size extra small. And then I did get a pair of 
biker shorts, super cute. They had other colors, but these were the only ones I really liked. They um, are a peachy coral color. And these are $20. And I also got these in a size extra small, so. Like I said, spring, summer's coming around the corner, so um, pastels are in, as well as, of course, I don't wanna always wear leggings going to work out. Um, I wanna feel comfortable when I'm working out. And then I got another pair of leggings. These are one of my favorite styles of leggings that they have, and they have this like twisted loop thing at the bottom of the ankle. So it makes it super cute when you're wearing them. Um, and these are cheaper than the rest. They're only $24. Um, and like I said, extra small is what I got, but super comfortable. It has like a cotton feel. I don't know, they're super soft. I think that's why I really like these, um, this brand's leggings. So it says made with at least 70% recycled polyester. Um, and I'm not sure what else the fabric includes, but it's super soft, super comfortable when I wear them, so yeah. Um, and then the last pair of clothing apparel that I got, I needed a new like just workout jacket. Um, so I just got this from the same brand and it's black and it's an extra small and this was um, $30. So all of this was 20% off. Um, and that's what I had gotten as far as workout gear. So I'm excited about that because I feel like when you buy cute clothing to work out, it makes you more motivated to go work out because you're like, ooh, I'm about to put on these cute new leggings, new sports bras or whatever to go work out in and you're cute while you're working out. Um, there are some sports bras that I like from this brand that are only like 16 bucks. I actually already have a pair. But they were out of what I wanted. They were, they only had an extra small and I needed a small, not an extra small. The extra small was making me look all like, super like, to me it just already looked like it wasn't fitting. Like, you know, it's like you, you try to shove yourself in that extra small type. Like that's what it was given and I don't like that. That's all I got from Target today. Oh my God, I just lied. That's not all I got, give me one second. I'm like, cause I knew I purchased more because baby, the receipt said otherwise, okay? <laughs> All right, so let me show you guys what I got. I had gotten a new lotion. I just got this um, Nivea Intense Healing Lotion. Um, I just liked it because when I tried it out, I was like, ooh, this is very moisturizing. And I love that it doesn't have a scent because like, if you want to put on certain types of perfumes or other types of fragrances, it won't collide with that. So I got this and it's very moisturizing. Um, with that being said, uh, I know everybody been seeing and hearing and using the Olay body shower conditioner um, or lotion or whatever you wanna call it, but I guess Nivea has their own as well. So I decided to purchase this also from Nivea. And it's the In Shower Body Lotion Cocoa Butter Water Activated Formula 24 Hour Moisture. Um, so I did not talk to you guys about wanting to um, like hair care today. So I bought a new, um, I didn't even need this because I already have a hair mask, but I don't know if y'all are like me, one of those people that you kind of just get old with your products regardless of how good they work or how good they smell you're like i want to try new stuff and that's why us product junkies be having crap ton of products half used and we just keep on stocking up so anyways i bought this um i call it Te tegan tegan i know it stands for thank god it's natural but i don't know what they prefer to be called when you're not saying thank god it's natural so I say Tegan, I don't know if it's Tegan or I don't know if they just be like TGIN, but let me know down in the comments down below, okay? But anyways, it's their rose water hydrating hair mask and it has rose water, acai, or is it acai, acai? 
I don't know y'all these words anyways Barry um and that's it says it's a lightweight deep conditioner conditioner for soft smooth and frizz free hair and you guys this smells really really good it smells really good like I don't know how to explain this smell but it smells really good um and it has rose water I'll tell you one thing about me I'm not too big on like flowery smelling things um and I don't mean floral because I know there's some perfumes that are floral. I like floral things, but if it smells like a flower, I don't like that. So I know sometimes a lot of their like rose hip, rose, whatever, it will have like a, a flowery, rosy smell. I don't like that. But this has rose water in it and it doesn't smell like that at all. And maybe it's because it has the acai berry in there, but it smells amazing. And like I said, it's a hair mask. So I definitely wanted to try that out. Um and they oh that's camille rose listen camille rose i literally i don't i don't think there's one product of hers that i don't like all of her products are amazing and all of her products smell good as crap like so i've never tried this though and it's her um hair serum and it has cocoa nibs and honey Y'all know honey is really good with your hair. It um, helps um, rejuvenate, soften, and strengthen um, your hair. So I already have a um, shampoo and conditioning conditioner that I use that has honey in it. And I'm not going to lie, you guys. As soon as I started using that, I just noticed the difference in my curls. Um, and also just the texture of my hair, meaning like it's so much softer after I wash it. So this has honey in it. And like I said, I think I have some other oils in it as well. Um, but like I said, she does amazing when it comes to hair, especially natural hair. Like, so I already know this is going to be amazing. Um, and the way that you use this is you just put a little bit on your fingertips and you massage it in your scalp and you just get it going, girl. Okay, so that goes in your hair. And another product I purchased from her is a Honey Hydrate Step 1 Leave-In Collection. Um... So like I just said, honey, 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 honey is good for your hair. Um, if you have honey, I'm going to use it, okay? So honey is really good for your hair. It says step one, so maybe I'll end up going on her website to see step two, step three. Because if it is step, step one, there must be a two and a three. So this, they only had this one at Target, so I purchased this because I'm sure, I was like, well, you know what, I'm using her serum, so I'm sure... You know, they will have to be really good together. So I bought that. And then I bought Miss Jessie's Leave-In Condition. I have actually never used any of her products. But I literally see a lot of people using, like, the jelly, the curl jelly or whatever. Um, and they talk about how good it is and how much they love it because it helps their curls. So... With this, it has soy soybean and alloy in there. And it says the best darn leave-in conditioner, period. Okay? It literally says that. Period. Okay? Um, but it's saying it's saying that it is a um thick but light product for your hair. So when people say that, they're pretty much trying to let you know it's not going to weigh your hair down, but it's still going to help define and soften and hydrate your curls. So, because I've never tried this, I'm excited to try this. I'm excited to try all these products um, and let you guys know how it works out. Um, and I wanted to do that because, y'all, before I joined the military, I used to literally, like, take care of my hair. When I say take care of it, like... I was, you know, twist out, like, I was wearing my natural hair any chance I could get, um, and I was just really taking care, I was, um, what's it called, routine trims, like, routine hair, um, going to the salon, blowouts, all that stuff, and my hair was flourishing, honey, okay, so, let me um actually finish these other two products and we'll get into that in a minute um and like i told you guys i wanted to do mask and stuff so i bought like an eye mask for my for my under eye um it says eye patches um for dark circles and puffy eyes and then i have the glow baby eye bright cream from pacifica 
I love Pacifica because they're a vegan, cruelty-free brand. Um, and I also like it because this says fragrance-free. And I think a lot of their products are like that. So I like it because if you do have sensitive skin like me, most of the time when you're using their product, you don't have to worry about your skin maybe having a reaction to some type of fragrance product, that ingredient that they have in their products. So, and I, I'm going to get to this in a minute. But let's get to back to the hair. So anyways, yeah, so I used to take care of my hair, all that stuff. And ever since I joined the military, y'all, y'all know who, everybody who's in the military, y'all know that we have to be wearing these buns all the time. Right, baby? Buns all the time. So with that being said, especially being a black girl in the military, y'all know sometimes, especially natural hair, it could take a, it could take a while to, you know, do our hair in the morning so of course we're not going to do that we're going to leave the bun in and put a scarf on right but obviously that's not good for our hair either because when you're doing that you're pulling on your hair your edges your um get causing headache i think that's why i be having a headache all the time i told you i had a headache right but ever since i took this bun out it's like the headache has lightened up and I it's kind of like pretty much I don't have a headache anymore. So, I need to do better with um, making sure that I'm taking care of my hair regardless of, you know, me having to wear a bun every day. If that means I have to take my hair out every single night, redo the bun in the morning, that means I'm just going to have to give myself that extra time that extra time to do it because it is not healthy to for your hair um, or your freaking brain my i get headaches all the time and a lot of times it's because i have this bun in my head um so you know it's just important to make sure you're taking care of your hair and um not keeping it in that bun all day all night every day every night um so yeah i bought these because i want to and get my hair back together but moving on to the eye stuff, y'all. So this morning when I had woke up, I had, I don't know if, I think I told y'all, I had put that melatonin oil on, y'all. That stuff had put me right to sleep. When I say right to sleep, and I really didn't know if it really worked for real because I feel like I had used it once before, but I think I was already like for real sleepy, so I wasn't sure. But when I say... The way that I was so tired, the way that I couldn't get up this morning, the way that I had only 30 minutes to get myself ready for work. Mind you, I still had to brush my teeth, wash my face, take Roman out, make sure he's eating. Like, the way I didn't have time to get ready for work this morning. So, I was like, wow. But when I woke up, I'm assuming because the sleep was so good. The sleep was so good. I did not wake up not one time out of the night. The sleep was so good. When I woke up, my eyes were so puffy. And I'm not saying because I was sleeping, but that just let me know how tired I've been, how tired my body is. So I was like, I want to start taking care of my body, my uh, my under eyes too. I think for me, at least when I do skincare, I kind of skip over my eyes. I just kind of like moisturize them with my lotion and my oil, but I don't like actually tend to my under eye. Um, and I don't want to start getting like dark circles or like puppy eyes so that's part of the reason why i bought the glow baby eye brightening cream as well as the um it's called leaf pretty anti-puff eye patches so i don't think i'm gonna do any of this hair care skincare stuff tonight i already told y'all why and we already been talking for quite some time 20 minutes how do i be on this phone on this camera talking to y'all for 20 minutes anyway um so with that being said i'm gonna do this tomorrow tomorrow i don't work i mean i work my military job but i don't work um my other job so tomorrow i work my military job but i don't work my other job so um i'll have time to tend to my needs and get myself together as well as my house y'all i take my trash out i have to load the dish i don't even want to tell y'all the list of stuff i have because y'all might think like my house looks crazy and it really don't look crazy at all actually it's just like you know the normal tidying up stuff to do i need to 
um we do these press on nails y'all they're like popping off they're getting crazy um i have i just popped that one off this index finger one and then my middle finger and my thumb like i look crazy right now that was another reason why i didn't want to do my hair because these nails have been snagging on everything so <sighs> yeah that's that Ooh.